Hello, welcome to the show. This video I'm going to do my seven daily challenges from start to finish, fully complete them in the order I did it. So to get started, I'm going to focus on the posse races because we all know those are bugged and it's going to be difficult in order to get onto a server where I can get them to start. So every server I'm on, I'm going to attempt to do the posse race while I'm completing my other challenges. Now, I was real fortunate. The very first server I tried, it lit up for me. Now, you can see I went into the posse invite to posse menu, and I just invited a whole bunch of lower level players on the server, and then I went into posse versus when one of them joined me, and then I looked on the map to see where he was at, what road he was on, and I set the waypoint for the race ahead of him so he would just naturally encounter it without even having to go out of his way, which saves me the trouble of having to raise to it. Which, yeah, I know I would get some XP or whatever if I came in first place, but these lower level guys, they need it way more than I do. So I like to just let them win, and I know that most of them probably don't have a permanent posse either, so that's why I invite the lower level guys, because you know I figure it might be harder for them to be able to get that challenge complete. And then I, after that race, headed over just east of where I happened to be Rascolor Fork and there were some pronghorn. I managed to bag and skin one of those pronghorn which is part of the other challenge. Now that posse member I was with for some reason decided to up and leave the posse so now I'm going to have to reform and find another posse but before I left that server I ran down and I bagged myself a bighorn ram because I know that that's down here. I know I'm southeast of Rascolor Fork. I am going to show you a map I believe here. Yes. No, I guess I'm like due south of Rascolor Fork there. But now I've bagged one pronghorn, one bighorn, and completed one race. And then I was invited to do a wild animal kill challenge. And I did that, but I'm not going to include it in this video because I didn't get anything towards my challenges. But after the free roam event, I ended up being in this area of the map over north end of West Elizabeth. And I invited several posse members to my posse, as I did before. But then when I went into posse versus, it was lit up again. So I'm thinking, like, that's terrific, you know? I'm now two for two. I haven't failed at getting a posse race started yet. Which is, is you know, I'm pretty happy with that because... You know, we've already had a lot of trouble in the past. However, getting my third race started is going to become very difficult for me. I'm going to have to try numerous times, and I don't even actually include all of the times that I attempted it. There were a few that I just cut out because, you know, how much repetition of failure do we really need in one video? And after that posse race, I found this bighorn ram over on the northwest side of West Elizabeth. You can see where I'm at here. So that gives me both of my bighorn rams skinned now. So now I have that completed. I've managed to cash in on the gold here. And then I fast travel over, I, well I free roam through the online menu back over to New Austin. I'm not exactly sure what I had in mind there. I think I figured, you know, there's going to be pronghorn pretty much anywhere I land in this area. And if I'm going to be hopping servers, I might as well as be somewhere there's some valuable birds as well. So I load in to New Austin and I invite just all these low-level players to my posse. One joins up and you can see nothing is lit up. It doesn't matter where I put the waypoint. It keeps telling me the race cannot end at the current waypoint which is a bunch of bullocks, so, you know, like, that's broken. I'm going to have to hop servers, but before I do, I take a jaunt around looking to see if there's any valuable birds or a pronghorn. I find a couple pronghorn, and this is interesting here. When I kill these pronghorn, this second one that I'm going to kill runs so far away from the first one that when I get over to skin it, you can see the first one's no longer showing on my mini-map. It's west of me. I head back west, and it reappears. That is pretty awesome to be able to get that far away from a carcass without it vanishing. Got to say thanks Rockstar for fixing that bug. However, 
I have lost carcasses still in this update, so it does still need some work. Now I have three of three pronghorns skinned, and I remembered, oh yeah, you know what, I need babe lay, so this time when I loaded in to free roam, I chose New Hanover instead, and I rode over to Valentine, which I didn't load far from, and I picked up my babe lay. Now I do have another video in my daily challenge playlist, which shows six baby lay locations. The second location that I'm going to pick from on this map, I don't think I actually pull the map up to show you. So if you want to see those six locations, you're going to want to check that video out in my playlist. But now I've got my five baby lay picked. And while I was over here, I shot a two star buck. And I'm going to end up getting another three star doe. I dragged the doe over to the butcher with my rope. The two-star buck was on my horse, so I just sold those to the butcher along with all sorts of other bird feathers and whatnot. I'm going to run into the gunsmith here, and I'm going to customize one of my weapons, get that out of the way. And when you're doing this, you don't have to spend any money. You can just revert back to an old part that was on one of your guns, and you can see on the... You know what? Revolver I have I here, I the barrel, it's actually set Bolt, to short triggers, to start with. I'm going to switch parts, it to long. And that's because the last time we had this challenge, I switched it to short. And I don't really use this revolver, so it stays clean. So that way, anytime I need to change anything, I can just come in. I always have a clean weapon sitting there, better, ready to no swap out that customization. Because you know, if it's not clean, he will not let you customize it. And then for dragging an enemy player from horseback, this wasn't an enemy until I pull my lasso out and start twirling it. Once I start twirling it, he recognizes me as an aggressor, and he turns red, after which I just drag him out of town. And I'm a little concerned here because there is a witness. Now that witness is going to possibly cause problems for me, because if he gets to the cops and tells them that I'm going to be wanted. But I'm pretty sure if I were to switch to a gun right now, I would be dropping the rope and the guy behind me probably will get free, decide he wants to have a gunfight or whatever. So I just decide to try to drag this guy out of the wanted circle before the cops get to me. But of course, as you may know, if you go too fast, he will die while he's on the rope. So you have to go slow in order to keep him alive to complete the challenge. Now, I'm not sure what happens if he dies. If you have to start over at zero to get another 750 feet with just the same person, because so far every time I've done this challenge, I've only used one NPC to do it. He hasn't died while doing it. You can say I get out of the circle, so I'm not going to be wanted. That's great. Now he is completed that challenge. Now I'm going to run real fast and just kill him just because, you know, why not? And then fast travel back over to New Austin. Now see... That load that you just saw where I killed that guy, I don't think I showed you where I tried building the posse. That was a fail on that load, though. I did attempt it. It just did not work when I did try. So now we're in another server. I'm, I'm sure you here. Like I'm actually going to try and set a waypoint for this guy, which is not going to work. But one of the next times when I... I'm looking to see if this works. Instead of going to set the waypoint, I just go and look and see. Because, like, right now, you see bird shooting and herb picking. You know, those are not lit up either. And I've noticed if those are not lit up, then posse race isn't going to be lit up either. Like, the, the whole server's bugged. For It doesn't matter what verses you want. So You can get Hunt the Leader for some reason, but everything else will be bugged together. If one's bugged, they're all bugged. So if you can't do... Uh, herb contest, then you're not going to be able to do posse racing. Don't even waste your time setting a waypoint. So here I invite a whole bunch of people and I go run around and I pick at Rascaller Fork. Now I'm in a great spot right now, Rascaller Fork, for hopping servers because this location has many top tier birds. There's vultures, there's condor, and there's hawk that all like to perch up in numerous locations at Rascaller Fork. And this is the server that I was talking to you about, where when I build the posse, I invite some players. And when they join into me, instead of setting a waypoint and then seeing if the race lights up, 
I'm just going to see if herb picking contest or bird shooting contest lights up. If it does, I know I'm on a good server. If it doesn't light up, then I just, you know, uh, just form the posse, stand down, and hop servers. But first, you know, I want to check those birds out. But it's raining right now. They won't spawn in the rain, and they won't spawn when it's dark. If it's dark, you can find two static condor spawns over by Fort Mercer in the dark which uh, I have to show you guys in another video I did actually hit them a little bit earlier in this content but I, I think I cut it out because again you know like I was saying I'm not going to show stuff that's not exactly relevant to the daily challenges in this video I'll try and stick just to that as the core and if you might have noticed what I did just then instead of hopping servers I decided to close the game down completely, the client, because I didn't want to just continue doing the same thing. I want to try and mix it up. So I closed the game down and started from fresh, thinking, well, maybe that will fix the problem. Because numerous times now, I've tried going into a server, and I failed at getting the posse versus to start. So this time is with a fresh game load. And I go in, I reform the posse, Invite some players into it. Invite as many as I can. You know, low layers, low, low level players get priority. And then I go check out Posse Versus and hey, check it out. It's all lit up. Race isn't lit up because I haven't set a waypoint yet though. So now I'm going to set that waypoint. I'm looking. Where is this guy heading? He's heading westbound. He's in that area. So I'm going to set a waypoint. Hopefully that will be kind of like in the direction he's going. Help make him happy. Give him some XP. I can just go, you know, kill some birds or bag a cougar or whatever. And do whatever I want to do while he's doing whatever he wants to do. i just bag a couple birds here. And before I know it, he'll have that completed. And we'll all be happy. So I just got my third race completed now. And I know that's going to be really difficult for a lot of people to get through that. All in all, these challenges took me about an hour and 45 minutes. Including the wait time to get an, a free roam event, which would allow me to do kills. I had, there was a fishing challenge event that popped up, and there was the wild animal kill event that popped up, and then Fool's Gold finally popped up. So I grabbed my bow, went into Fool's Gold, turned on Paint It Black instead of Slippery Bastard, drank a little bit of, or ate a little bit of chewing tobacco. And I'm ready to go with my dynamite arrows to get my three kills in the free roam event. I'm not actually even trying to win this event. All I'm looking to do is get my three kills. And when I do, I'll be out of the match. I'll just hit the left on the D-pad. Press up. The first option there, when you press up, it goes rolls to the bottom. And it selects quit. Free roam. Hit A twice, and it confirms it, and you're good to go. You're out. You're free. Free at last. You got it all done. Thanks, everyone, for viewing, subscribing, liking, sharing, and especially joining. I got a new member, Eddie Talcott. Thank you so very much, along with everybody else who's joined. You guys are spectacular. Until next time, happy hunting and happy trails.